we don't know what's gonna happen today guys no idea what's gonna happen today so we did get some intel great intel that they planted 4,000 pounds of trout at this lake that we're gonna go to we're gonna try to fish it for as long as we can and uh, I'm using two pound test this is the lightest I've ever gone in my life in terms of uh, pound test but the reason for that we'll get into more detail about it as we use it but it's to maximize distance stay in the strike zone with an ultralight bait this lure that I'm gonna throw today is only a 1 32nd ounce jig head all the way up to maybe a 16th ounce jig head uh, we just don't know what's gonna happen today so there's a good line of boats over there and uh, Bob's not gonna be down and in the water for a little while so I think it might be a good idea to make some casts just to try out this two pound test see what that's like hope nothing crazy happens because there's a lot of sticks and brush to get caught up on oh second one it's a big boy Daniel only gets the big boys that is a big boy so this is our friend Daniel if you guys remember our salmon episode he's already killing it he's probably gonna do better than us on the boat throwing two pound test right now Yeah, I'm going for it, Man, dude. It's a chunky one. Mini jigs. Are you on? Mario's on? Mario's on. On the rooster tail? What are we even doing with a boat right now? I almost don't understand. There's no reason to be on the boat. He's smart. I'm about to get bit right now, too. Oh, man, that's a good one, bro. Five minutes. That's how you're going to start, really? <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, hell yeah. It's on. On the two pound test. On the little grub. Oh, no. <laughs> two pound test. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Two pound test, baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't think I'd be able to set the hook with two pound test. Got but right uh here too. yeah, it worked. Oh yeah. Bob! It worked! Worked, Bob! Two pound test. Let's go. Mission accomplished with a two pound test. All right, see if we can get another one. Dude, and my drag wasn't even set. I horsed that guy in <laughs> on two pound test, so it's possible. Yeah, it's so another reason the two pound test is nice is they're able to inhale it. Yeah. There's really no resistance from the line. It's like fishing with a hair. Yes, sir. All right, Daniel. All right, have fun, bro. I'll catch you later. Thank you yeah. for letting me hijack your spot for a sec. I appreciate you. Oh my gosh, I am gonna be able to, I'm launching this thing. There's a nine pounder. Working on it. About to show it to you. Get your camera ready. There you go, got him. Oh, oh, double. Oh, double. Double. Oh, 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 my God, come on. Oh, oh, look at that, dude. Oh, it's cool. Net? You need a net? Oh, he's pinned, baby. He is pinned. Way better. Oh, yeah, buddy. That's on the two pound test. Yep. Oh, he's pinned good. That's what's up. Choked it, huh? Choked it. One sixteenth ounce. Two fish in like 20 minutes. They just planted yesterday, so we're not thinking we're heroes or anything. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> You might be able to throw anything in here and get them. Is it big? I can't even move them. Oh, there you go. Number three, baby. Number three. That's right. Oh, 
Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Numero tres on the mini jig. I'm all right with this. Let's keep doing it. Sit one sixteenth ounce weight on two pound test. What do you throw like a little baby swim bait? Yeah, it's a little little, little uh, big hammer swim bait. Just kind of letting it hit bottom and then raising the rod tip slowly to get that tail action and then letting it drop. And then they're usually, they, they've been hitting it on the drop. Uh, it was pretty. Are you, you got any power bait soaking or no? No. I, yeah, I do. Yeah, I got him. Yep. This might be a small mouth. Oh no. Whose man's is this? On that two pound baby. Huh? That's the ticket. Oh, he ate it good too. Number four. Oh, she's a fatty. She's a nice little fatty. She's plump. Nice and plump. I'm all right with that. Oh, man. Oh, there's a few of them in there. Congratulations on your thousand subscribers. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you very much. And a thousand twenty. A thousand twenty right now. Yep. So if you guys subscribe, you could be thousand twenty one and a thousand twenty two, twenty three. Yeah. Let's keep it rolling. We'll try and make some more videos. We tried trolling around a little bit. But uh, now it's time to switch up the game plan. We are going to make the run to the spot where we caught 13 like in the last video. Oh yeah, and Bob did get one right now. Pretty nice one. Exactly. Oh, got him. Want it, Bob? That's a good one. We just started trolling. Oh, that's funny. Got him. Oh, just got a Bob. Yeah. Seven in the box. Oh, that is a good one. Oh, that is on the on the fire tiger. That J5 Rapala that we've been using for the last three years. Oh. <laughs> right, Bob. Dang, he's right there. Leroy. Buddy. Well, I guess we don't need the wind to catch him. Yeah, we were talking about that. It was like wind usually helps the troll, but it's dead calm out here. Dead calm. We trolled a little bit. We picked up two fish on the troll. And then um, we're going to anchor up. Since they just planted, they shouldn't be too far from where they planted it. So um, we're in the legal boundaries to fish for them. So we're going to, you know cast out some power bait. I think that'll be a good bet for some more trout. <laughs> Bob just had the brilliant idea to just use the rod holders. Might as well. So we're anchored up. Bob just got the anchor situated and we are rolling. Hopefully see they plant them over there. Hopefully they swim this way. We're on the other there side. There the you go. We're on the other side of the marina right now. I, I just lost one. You just lost one? I just lost one. Too. I just got one on the jig. We're over here on the other side of the marina on the Two yeah, pound we're power, test. And we're power baiting. This is number on five on the two pound the test. Buoys, on the opposite buoys. Woo, buddy. Buddy. All right. I was burning this one in. I was burning that one in. Oh, what you doing over there, Mario? Oh, I thought you were grabbing your two pound test. Dude, look at this. On the two pound test. I was just really afraid earlier that the two pound test isn't going to be able to set the hook, but geez, look. Look at, I don't know if you guys will be able to see that hook, but look. Look how it's set, man. That is so cool. It's a nice one. Unfortunately, guys, there will not be a cooking portion in this video. We usually do catch and cooks on this channel, but the camera that we usually film the catch and cooks with, the Lumix G7, got soaked on our last trip, and now 
it's not reading the lens so it's got a failure message and once you're accustomed to doing something a certain way and uh, there's certain standards it's hard to kind of go back and forth but again this video was all filmed on gopros and the drone but it's okay though it's okay we'll figure it out we'll make it through just like we made it through 2020 but today was great uh, we were able to catch a limit of trout on two pound test using tiny baits uh, from 1 32nd of an ounce all the way to 1 8th of an ounce um, the biggest benefit to the two pound test is you're able to cast these small baits out and work the strike zone very effectively. Um, the gear that I used will be linked below. It is an ultra light rod with a 1000 series reel and it had again two pound test and it definitely performed today. It outfished the other means of catching fish. Uh, the only guys who did really, really, really well today were the bait and weight guys like Daniel. But it was ultimately a, a good trip. We ended up getting a few more on the troll. Uh, at the end of the day, Bruce uh, showed up with his wife and his three kids, beautiful family. And two of the kids had already caught fish. There was about 30 minutes left to fish before the park kicked us out. So we were just really hoping his daughter would catch a fish and uh, she actually hooked up and then this happened. Bring it in, bring it in. Oh, it's gone. Oh, oh, shit. Get it in, Ed, Ed, get it, Ed, get it, Ed. Ed's got boots on. Ed's got boots, get it in. <laughs> it's oh, caught in the other line. Oh, got him. Yeah. Good job, you caught it. See, I told you you're gonna get one. Are you happy? Oh, you can make Edward for grabbing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know if we got a boot. Ted, not so good, but we're standing here with Bruce, Riley, and all the kids. Yes. Squeeze hard. Mila, show okay. your fish. Come on here, 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 come they just, it, they, the, the nice thing about it is they inhale it. Well, not yours, but. <laughs> <I'm> not, <laughs> not yours, Bob. Everybody else's, but not yours. <laughs> and you let this guy come on your boat? <laughs> <laughs> it's time. <laughs> it was definitely a good day but not for Dexter he just got scratched by this little one Trolled around. Lazy trout. Trolled around a bit again after baiting and waiting. Just got that one on the jig, the mini jig. And then now, since the wind picked up again, we're gonna hit our old spot. Start where we, start back at the second spot that we hit earlier, so. 